Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today I'm going to go over Organigram Holdings or OGI, OGI stock. Sorry about that. This is a cannabis stock for Canada that just had a huge investment by the British American Tobacco Company, a $221 million investment, uh, which represents a 19.9% .9 stake in the company. Uh, which is huge. So this is a strategic partnership, guys. There's a lot, a lot of benefits that were going to come from this, uh, uh, this strategic partnership between OGI stock and, and uh, British American Tobacco. And I'm going to go over the detail, guys. I'm going to go over the fundamentals of what things are going to change, what ways are going to benefit, and how it can impact the stock of OGI. So, hey, don't forget to uh, smash that like button as well. Subscribe below on the YouTube, uh, uh, to this YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to ask questions, guys. Let me know what you guys think about OGI stock or any other cannabis stocks uh, that you guys are looking at. So let me share my screen and let's get started. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do first, guys, I am going to share uh, uh, my uh, Weeble uh, screen in terms of where I got in uh, and what am I looking at now? I did buy a, a small position at uh, at um, four point thirty eight, and uh, this is after the announcement. The announcement pretty much happened yesterday, so uh, two days ago, excuse me. So I did buy some yesterday. I am looking to add if it pulls back to three thirty. I am looking to add uh, to this stock, uh, but I want to kind of what, what the reason why uh, I'm very interested in the stock is because again the recent news. And if you go to the Organigram uh, press releases, very simple. You, you kind of get to see all the news. Again, this is the uh, recent news from BAT. This is a British American tobacco company. Again, the 19.9% equity stake. But before I go there, I want to go over their, 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 their earliest, their latest, uh, most recent uh, first quarter earnings. Just go over really, really quickly. Uh, what are some of the, the key things to kind of look at? Uh, which to me was very, very important. On the, their first quarter of 2021, the, the, the Canadian Adult Use Career Creational Company, which is again OGI stock, they had a net revenue that grew 42% and 30% respectively to uh, 22.5 million and 16.8 million uh, from quarter one 2020 uh, to, of course, you know, quarter one 2021. So, uh, in terms of other great things about this latest earnings report is that it generated positive cash flow from operations of 0 0.3 million in quarter one of 2021 uh, and ended the quarter with $134 million in cash and short-term investments on December 1st, uh, 2020, which made 55 million repayments on a, on a, on a term loan um, and resulting in a pro forma cash and short-term investments, 79 million with 60 million owing Going on a loan, so they're definitely are worth something. There's definitely enough money in the balance sheet. Now they're going to give more money because of uh, of the uh, the British American Tobacco uh, Investment uh, Collaboration Strategic Investment. Now uh, the British American Tobacco is going to own 19.9% uh, interest in the company, uh, and they're pretty much going to give them 221 million dollars, which is pretty huge. Uh, but what I also like about it, these are some of the specific things that there are that, that uh, I guess you could say that OG is going to benefit. So, the uh, pretty much Organigram believes that the British American uh, Tobacco Investment uh, and the PDC will benefit in the company as in, with, will benefit the company as follows. So they believe that it's going to accelerate and strengthen Organigram's uh, R and D, which is research and development. Uh, and product development activities, including granting access to certain uh, British American tobacco owned IP, which I guess you could say this is their own individual um, British American tobacco uh, processes or, 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 uh, or other products that, or the, in terms of how they've created other products. So are the things they're gonna benefit? No, it's gonna, it raises the significant capital to invest in growth opportunities including entering the United States and other international markets. The, uh, the United States market is the most important market. And the reason why is because it is the biggest market, uh, trillion dollar market or billion, multi-billion dollar market. Uh, a lot of states are now, it's actually legal now to use and consume uh, recreational marijuana. And now that the uh, Democratic uh, administration, you know, the Biden administration control the White House and a lot of Congress, it's a possibility that more states, or it may even become federally uh, legal. You know, that means a whole country, it's going to be legal to use recreational marijuana. So that's huge, guys. 
Uh, so that the United States market is the biggest market, in my opinion. Now, other benefits uh, is going to allow Organigram to leverage the British American tobacco ex expertise for its wider operations through the Center of Excellence and Bass representation on Organigram's board of directors. Um, and of course, there's more information. But what other what are the, what are uh, some of the um, analysts thinks? So this is an article by the Motley Flu, uh, Motley, Motley Fool, excuse me, Organic Grants market share to double with British American Tobacco Partnership. So they believe that the market share could double, which again is huge. So um, right now, according to them, um, OGI now has momentum following the uh, British American Tobacco acquisition of almost 20% of the company. A, a, a pair of analysts see the marijuana growers market share doubling by 2026. Uh, the increased opportunity also caused analysts like Raul uh, Suregesser and Michael W. Freeman at Raymond James to double their price target for a stock to six dollars uh, or, or four dollars and seventy eight cents. So six dollars Canadian or four dollars and seventy eight cents. Uh, so that's something what they're thinking about. So pretty much that's part of it. Let's kind of look at. Um, I want to do another good news that that I really really like about OGI stock or Organigram. Uh, that, that is besides the, the, uh, the strategic investment by BATS uh, or the British American Tobacco uh, Company is that it's going to be added to the S&P Dow Jones Index or the S&P TSX composite. This is the Canadian uh, composite index. Uh, this is not the US. This is not the S&P 500. This is the S&P TSX composite index, which is a, the, uh, as you can say, the biggest companies in the Canadian market. As you guys can see, uh, OGI is going to be added on March 22nd, um, and it's gonna be under uh, the healthcare sector and pharmaceuticals, uh, and it's gonna be Organigram Holdings. So that is huge too, guys, because like, if you guys remember when um, Tesla was added to the S&P 500, uh, there was a huge buying from institutional investors because a lot of institutional investors track companies that are in the S&P 500. So once a company is added to an uh, index, for example, in this case, it will be added to the S&P TSX index, a Canadian index, a lot of uh, institutional investors who track that in as the S&P TSX index will happen now buy the uh, OGI stock or, or you know, Organigram because they have to track the index. So that is huge. That should definitely help the stock too. So I'm also very, very bullish on that too. Uh, so other things that I like about uh, OGI stock, uh, it's about to hit the $1 billion uh, market cap, which is a very, very important Usually a lot of institutional investors before they start putting large amounts of money in companies, they want companies to be at least worth a billion dollars. I think with the strategic partnership with uh, the British American Tobacco Company, that's gonna happen pretty soon. Um, in terms of uh, the, uh, the, the, the the ratings, now analyst upgrades haven't come yet. I think it's too early. Uh, we need to see what other analysts think. I think these are, are gonna change pretty soon, but Overall, what I also want to cover, guys, I do want to show you guys a little bit more about the, uh, what you guys could say, the, uh, uh, the charts. Uh, in terms of the technical analysis, it, the stock is trending, the sector is trending. Uh, so I, I do really, really like that. Um, to me, what's important is that, that this trend kind of holds and volume keeps going. As long as the, uh, the cannabis sector keeps moving, um, uh, keeps trending, OGI should be one of the stocks that will also benefit. Again, the future looks really very bright, especially if they can make it into the U.S. markets. The U.S. markets is the biggest market, in my opinion, for uh, recreational use of uh, cannabis. So if they could do that with this partnership, that's going to be huge. So yeah, I'm a long-term investor in OGI stock because of that. So I already got in at around $4.38. I got a small position uh, as part of my portfolio. I will add if it pulls back to around 330, 340, I will add that to that. Sorry about that, guys. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the YouTube comments. Feel free to ask me questions. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below on my YouTube channel. And you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.